Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you, and this time I'm going to show you how to update your QuickBooks desktop to 2024. I'm currently on the 2023 edition of uh, QuickBooks Desktop Pro, and I got this email saying there's a critical alert that the latest version is available to download. So if you got an email like this, it's very straightforward. It's going to show you your license number and product number and there's download instructions which it's very straightforward so you just click on the link here to get started then you can choose if you're in the UK or Canada or US I'm in Canada so I'm gonna click this link and then you gotta choose from the drop-down menus and choose your country so it's Canada the product is the Pro Edition for me you wanna make sure you choose the right one for you and what version is it? So you may be upgrading to uh, a, a previous version if you're behind still, but um, in my case here, it's the 2024, so I'm gonna select that and go to search. It shows you right here just to confirm exactly what it is you're gonna download, and it's the 64-bit. So we'll go ahead and hit download. Then save it. Once the file's been downloaded, you can go ahead and open it. Click yes to any security alerts and wait for the extraction to complete and then the setup will begin. When you get to this first part, it's telling you to close any open programs, which is always a good idea to do. But also it's saying especially virus protection programs because they can get in the way and have a false positive reaction and it'll block something during the installation and cause damage to it. But I don't like doing that unless we have to, and I've never done it in the past. So in my experience, at least using the Avast antivirus product and the QuickBooks upgrades, I've never had a problem. So I'm gonna leave my antivirus on during this and hit continue. Before we can continue, it says you have to accept the license agreement. Normally there would be a checkbox or something here in the past, but it looks like in this case we have to click on the link. It quickly showed the box and then takes us to this website. So we don't need this website anymore. It's just assuming that we've already read it. So if we close out of there and come back here, you'll see that we now have a box to put a check mark on because it assumes you've already read the agreement and we can hit continue. This seems to be new with the 2024 edition. Now you can plug in your license number and product number, which is on this email that we received. I just copy and paste the number, and now I can hit next. You now have the option to do an express install, which is recommended. It just basically replaces the current version that you have while using the existing settings and preferences this is the best option so you're not going to have multiple copies of quickbooks unless you want to keep the old version just in case to go back to but normally you're not going to go back to it and it's going to force you to upgrade the database anyway afterwards so we're going to leave this on express and it's just confirming your license information and if you want to add service and support shortcuts to your desktop. I personally don't care about that so I'm going to uncheck that and it is confirming what we're installing and what we're upgrading from which is going to replace that. I'll go and hit install. Now we just wait a short period of time for this installation to complete and depending on the speed of your computer it really shouldn't take too long so we'll time this and I'll let you know how long it took for this to complete for me so we're gonna fast forward through it so we're gonna try this again running it accept the license agreement just close the browser now we can check the box to accept and continue I'll copy and paste my license information when we go next then we'll do the Express 
I'm gonna uncheck the service shortcuts and here now it's showing it's installing 2024. It doesn't show anything about upgrading from 2023 uh, because it seemed it removed it during my first attempt and it didn't install 2024. So I'm left with no QuickBooks at all. So anyway, we're gonna install it and see how this works. Okay, so that didn't take long and it's installed. So now I can go to open QuickBooks. Of course, we have to go through the activation. And everything is web-based now, so we need to sign in with our Intuit account. Even though you're not using the online QuickBooks, so many people are confused with this. If you have the desktop edition, you still have to sign in as though it's the online edition. And that's how it will register and activate your new version. Once you're signed in, it wants to verify that your account information is current and up to date. So you can just verify your email looks good. And then it gives you your product registration card confirming that it is registered now and what your information is. You can print that out if you want, but it's also the same information that is pretty well on the email that you received. Once it's printed, if you want, then you can hit close. And now we begin with the next steps here. So we'll hit OK on here. And we want to go to open an existing company file because we're upgrading. Open a company file. Next. And then you got to search for your file. log into your account and now it's asking to back it up before we upgrade so we'll do a local backup and just save it somewhere it's a good idea to choose complete verification for the backup to make sure that it is not corrupted and is a healthy database Go ahead and hit OK, and I'm saving it to the same drive where the database is located, which is not a good idea, generally speaking, but it is uh, something that I back up separately as well. So we got a local copy of it, and then we'll have an external copy afterwards. I'm going to say use this location anyway. I like creating a separate folder that says that it was the backup before upgrading to the 2024 edition. So I'm going to go ahead and save it there. Now that it's done backing up, it's confirming that it's about to update your database. So we want to say yes. And this is the upgrade screen. So we just wait for that to upgrade. And again, the amount of time depends on how big your database is and how fast the computer is. And once it's done, it just logs you right into your QuickBooks. So it's a good idea to go in and have a look at one of your latest invoices and just checking to make sure that one of the most recent transactions you did was there. Or you can even go up under the uh, banking and go to the registrar and just have a look in the register to see the last transactions that were done. Also, you can go under the reports, financial, and do a profit and loss statement or any one of these other reports. And it's a good idea if you want to run these reports before and after and make sure that the information is exactly the same. And that's how you update your QuickBooks Desktop Edition. And that's it for this tech tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.